right from a very, very wet Craven Cottage. Cottage is there, where is it? There you go. That's why it's called Craven Cottage. It's wet, it really started to buck it down in the second half, but I'm going to try and include a little bit of footage um, from the game on this one here. It was good, we were West Ham 1 1 0. The starting lineup was great. The starting lineup was really what I fancied for the start of the season. Well, maybe not Man City, but certainly Brighton. He went strong. Uh, I think the only reason he didn't play uh, Masuaku at left back, which I think was the only uh, perhaps change that he might do when he plays Brighton, was because he'd been involved in the African Nations Cup. But it was strong. Ben Johnson played it right back. I just run through the team, played ever so well. Really, really good. Don't be surprised if he starts. Uh, Diop and Balbuena, that partnership was resumed there. They played really, really well together. Diop was a different class today. Probably my man in a match. I'll say it now before I forget, but he was one of the few players to play all game. Uh, Declan Rice, who played well again today, uh, went back a centre-back in the second half. As I say, Cresswell started in the first half and um, Masuaku replaced him in the second half, but Masuaku looked sharp, really, really sharp. Declan Rice, I've mentioned, Declan played really well, um, but Jack Wilshire played next to him. Different class, Jack, keeps it ticking over, makes the whole play, just, just links everything together, absolutely brilliant. What was exciting, though, with the three behind the striker, he went with Anderson, he went with Lanzini, he went with Fornals. Now, I know there was no real footage of the game, but Fornals uh, took the more central role. Lanzini drifting out wide. Um, Lanzini played very, very well. Anderson looked sharp. Uh, Fornals, you know, found his way into it, neat and tidy, um, and I think will fit into the team really well. Haller played up front. I'll include uh, some footage in the second half, because he still, he continued the second half, got brought off for Chicharito, I don't know, midway through the second half, but... Um, so some really neat touches, link the play well, he'll be disappointed because he missed a double chance which I will link in just about now, a header and then a, and then a rebound from the keeper. But the keeper did two smart saves, did very, very well. Uh, Antonio, when he came on, uh, looked really good, really threatening. Dean Garner looked sharp again. Snodgrass came in, uh, played some part as well uh, in the proceedings. Uh, Yarmolenko, oh, I'll tell you what, he missed the sitter right at the end. I don't know if I got it. I, if I can include it, then I will do. He'll be very, very disappointed. But the way the team is shaping up at the moment, he's really going to be um, scratching around to try and get in the team, I think, Yarmolenko. We're going to have a really, really good bench. There's no doubt about that. Where Fabianski didn't have a lot to do. How many saves, Fabianski? Two. Two. They offered precious little today, Fulham. They'll be disappointed. But that's good from us. They've only really lost Seri, as far as I know. Sessegnon didn't play today, or at least I think he didn't. Um, so realistically, I mean, they stuck Mitrovic um, played. So they, they had more or less a Premier League team out there, or at least one that, albeit one that got relegated from the Premier League last season. But um, Diop handled Mitrovic really, really well. Bullied him. Mitrovic, big, strong boy, but Diop, oh, what a player. Really good. Gave his shirt away at the end, along with Jack Wilshere, uh, just down there. Um, good outing, all in all. And I think, as I say, I think we really did see the, the formation of the team that Pellegrini is going to want to play. Uh, next season. I think he'll go a little bit more defensive for Man City. So I think you probably possibly might see Noble in there. Noble didn't feature today though, so maybe that is an indicator. I don't know, you'll probably know more than me because you've got the internet there and I don't know if he was injured or got a cold or, or anything like that. Um, but maybe I would expect to see Noble feature against Man City, give us a little bit more defensive uh, solidity. Um, the second half was patchwork just because of the number of changes in the team. Cullen, came on as well. Am I missing anything? Anything drastic? Lanzini scored the goal. Sorry Brilliant about that. Huh? Brilliant, goal. Brilliant goal from Lanzini. Um, if you were watching... Fredericks in feature as well. Sorry, it's just very hard to try and remember all the things that happened and try and wrap it up into a five minute video. I know so many of you didn't get the footage, so um, I, I tried to record some of it on my Twitter, but uh, yeah, someone got their bum smacked today. Um, and John, who was stood right in front of me, got ejected for broadcasting. I've got to go now. Sorry, mate, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, Stuart's just asked me politely to leave, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll catch up with you in a week. Thanks for tuning in.